Pete from Cheap Homesteading and I'm in the garage today and I'm working on my Husky 55. Last time I used it, I pulled on the cord and it wouldn't return. So we gotta fix that uh, because I wanna use my saws today and uh, cut a little bit of firewood. So let's go. Okay, so we're going to remove the recoil cover. You know, throughout the season, like the summer season, I don't really cut firewood so I don't, I don't know if I don't take it seriously or what I do, but I end up not um, maybe taking care of the saws like I would if every weekend I'm cutting firewood. And uh, well, one of my saws, the recoil broke and I didn't fix it, so I removed it off another saw. And then all of a sudden I was down two whole saws. So I really don't want these saws to start becoming unusable. So I'm gonna fix the uh, recoil on this. Cause I like, I like having two chainsaws ready to go and sharp. I just find it works really good. Okay, so you got your cover and you got a little Allen screw in the center. And we're gonna loosen that off. Whenever your recoil doesn't return, I mean, it could just be jammed, but I think I know what it is already. Your spring is in behind here. Give it a little bit of a hit. And it's just as I thought. This little tab straightened out. Um, and that little tab is meant to have a little hook right here. So, the spring got pulled enough or over time and it just lost uh, its anchor point here. So I kind of knew that was going to be the case. So I went out and I got a new Husqvarna spring assembly. Back in the day, uh, you had to wrap the spring, um, like roll it in. Now it comes in a nice little clip. But whatever you do, when you're pulling that plastic off, don't let this come out like it'll just unravel like crazy. So make sure it stays in the holder. Okay, so now we're gonna blow out the cover, just clean all the sawdust off. Make sure you wear your safety glasses. Okay, so now you got your new cover. This loop goes over this. So it's actually quite, quite easy. You just pop it in there. This little slot lines up with the end of the spring. So what I'm gonna do is set it on in that area and then we're gonna wiggle it back and forth till it slides in. Don't tighten it up until you know that it's fully seated. We get our screw and we tighten it up. So I'm gonna make about a turn and a half and I'm gonna hold it with my thumb. And then I'm gonna start wrapping the cord around here. Keep wrapping it. The reason you turn this, you want a bit of tension on the cord when you get it and then turn it the rest of the way. There, so now you have good tension for the handle to come back into the actual cover. Nothing worse than it hanging off, I hate that. That just looks bad and it's annoying. So there you go, it's all fixed, we'll install it. I'm gonna install this back on the saw. I'm gonna blow this off quick. So when you go to put this on, it rarely just fits on. You have to give it a little bit of a tug with the pull cord as you push down. And put your screws in. Okay, so now we'll just tighten up the cover. There you go, so let's try. Okay, so let's give it a try. Okay, the pull cord pulls. 
Okay, so there you go. The pull cord pulls. I'm gonna have to go over the rest of the saw, get it ready for cutting some firewood. But uh, this one's fixed. So you guys have a good one.